Hey friends, welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day today. I'm excited. Today I'm playing with some of my favorite products from Jane Iredell. I teamed up with Jane Iredell for this video because they just launched a new formulation of lipsticks and I have all 15 shades here and I'm gonna share them with you, swatch them with you and then share my favorites. They are the Color Lux lipsticks. It's a very hydrating, fully pigmented lip product. Super excited to share them with you. I actually got to test them when I was in the Berkshires a couple of weeks ago with Jane Iredell and I've been playing with them for the last few weeks and I'm so excited that they're finally available to share. So I thought it'd be fun just to hang out, get ready with you guys. I don't have anything on my face now. I did pull some of my favorite Jane Iredell products that you've heard me talk about for months now and then some new ones, some products that I discovered and played with since my trip that I got to test. Some of their skincare actually. I hadn't used Jane Iredell skincare before. So we're gonna start with that. This is the Beauty Prep Face Moisturizer. It comes in a little jar and it has this little pump that you press to get the product out. I actually probably got way more than I need. I'm going to kind of rub it all through my hands and I'm going to just press it on my face and it has a really like lovely scent. It smells like oranges or citrus. It just smells really fresh. It's a very rich moisturizer. When I tested this, when I was in the Berkshires, again, I hadn't tried their skincare before. I was just really in love with the feel of it on my skin. I'm gonna use the excess on my neck. I've been really, ugh, I can't talk while I rub my neck. <laughs> Let's rub the neck first, then we'll talk. I have been really trying to get in the habit of just bringing my facial moisturizer to my neck. I do have a neck cream that I use, but I'm not the best at remembering to use it every day. So I try and just get in the habit of, you know, using all the skincare products that I'm using on my neck. I also like to take any excess and put it on the back of my hands. That is a little tip for you. Okay, and then next I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna actually love give this a few minutes to set and then we'll go in. Okay, so a few minutes have passed. I'm gonna go in and use the Beauty Prep Hyaluronic Serum. And I'm gonna concentrate this, since I just put the moisturizer on, which is pretty rich, I'm gonna concentrate this really just underneath my eyes to kind of prep my eyes for concealer. I've been really in the habit of adding a serum underneath the eyes before concealer. This was something I never really had to do <laughs> when I was younger. But now that I'm getting a little older and you can see some texture underneath my eyes and concealer really usually tends to magnify it. Makeup period can just magnify texture. You won't really notice something when you look in the mirror bare face, but then if you put too much makeup or a head product that's too heavy, it can magnify all the texture. So the trick to preventing that is really just going in and moisturizing and prepping the skin. So this is a wonderful product to prep underneath the eyes. I've also been enjoying this product in the mornings, like to just put all my skin and then put my tinted SPF on if I'm running out the door to the gym and I don't wanna do my whole skincare routine cause I'm just gonna come home, wash my face and do it again. So really lovely lightweight serum. Okay, now that the skin is prepped, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add some of the Hydro Pure Serum. Now this is a product you guys know that I have used and loved since it launched. I think this launched this year. I'm terrible at gauging time. Well, actually I think it was reformulated. It was a reformulated product. So it's a tinted serum and it has skincare benefits to it, but then it also has little pigment balls in here. And I just use about one pump and I have seen people use a brush to apply this, but I actually just like to use my fingers. It's a very easy product to apply. I like to just mix my fingers together so I break up those pigment balls. And then I'm just gonna go over the skin and apply this all over the face. This gives a really nice natural radiance to the skin and it has pigment to it. So it's gonna give a little bit of coverage and really just kind of even out discoloration. This is a product that I would compare to like a referring or a tinted moisturizer. That's about the amount of pigment that it has. Maybe it gives a little bit more coverage in those products, but it's very lightweight. So today I am using it as my first kind of layer of complexion products, like something to even out my skin. All right, let's take a look and see how we did. Perfect, beautiful. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with my favorite foundation from Jane Iredell, and it is my favorite powder foundation, period point blank, like just the best. And I wanna say it's actually the first product that I started using last year when I rediscovered Jane Iredell. I'd used them in the past, but really when I d rediscovered them last year and fell in love with them, it was because of this product. It's, this product is responsible for that. This is the Mineral Pressed Powder Foundation. I am the shade Golden Glow. And I think there is this misconception that as we get older, we can't use powder foundations, but I disagree with that. You just have to find the right one. And this, it just defies anything you, 
think of when you think of powder foundation. It gives the skin a natural finish. Yes, it's matte, but it's very natural matte. It's not a powdered look. It's very flexible coverage. I'm actually gonna use a large fluffy brush to apply it. Because I used this product already and I already have some pigment on the skin, I don't need to layer a lot of this. I'm gonna use this brush and we're just gonna go into this product and we are going to kind of softly sweep and build coverage onto the skin, keeping it very, very light. Oh, look at that. It just, oh, it's so beautiful. You just start to see the skin look perfect, but still so natural. I'm applying the smallest amount of this product, not only because the brush I'm using is a fluffier brush that picks up less, but if you notice, I'm going kind of in large sweeping motions, that also ensures that we're gonna get a really natural light application. Okay, now I avoid it underneath the eyes because I forgot that I didn't put concealer on yet. Typically I put concealer on first, but that's okay. Okay, perfect. Lovely. One thing I want to mention about this product is Jane Iredell is a very sustainable brand. So a lot of their products, you purchase the compact and then you purchase the refill product separately. So when you go to restock it, you just need to purchase the refill. But I will link on the down below to, I think they have a link where you, if you purchase it for the first time, you'll get you know, this and the refill. Okay, let's go in with concealer. The Enlightened Plus, I'm the shade number one. This concealer was one that the first time I used it, I was like, okay, it's okay. But it has really grown on me to be one of my favorite concealers of the moment. What I love about this concealer is it gives it, and I might be making this up, y'all. Maybe this is something I'm just seeing in my head. <laughs> I feel like it gives me a little bit of like volume underneath the eye. Like it's this really beautiful kind of moussey texture. And when it lays on the skin, it's just soft. It's full coverage, but it's soft. It's not heavy looking. And it just like when most concealers will magnify texture, I feel like this just like plumps texture. I don't know, maybe it's in my head. A little bit goes a long way. So, you know, that's about as much as I squeezed out. It does have this really nice little tip here that you can use to kind of massage underneath the eye if you want like a little cooling effect. I don't use that too much. I just use, squeeze on the back of my hand. Now I will say with this product, because it's a thicker consistency, you really want to warm it up. I like to use my fingertip really to not only first apply it, but I like to kind of spread it out with my finger. What that is going to do is it's going to really warm the product up and kind of warm it into the skin. And I will do as much blending as I can first with my finger. My finger isn't going to do the entire job, but it will do most of it. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna go in with a concealer brush. I'm using the BK Beauty 110, and I'm just going to literally bounce this on top of that. And that is gonna just blend out any edges for a seamless blend. Ooh, so nice. Okay, now do you see, we don't have anything on this side, we have concealer on this side. Not only has it given full coverage, but it's also really brightened the under eye. This color, I'm shade number one, it has a lot of peach to it. So that's really good because peach cancels out blue or green under the eye, which is typically what we have. I have a little green veining here and peach neutralizes that, it cancels it out. So you get that coverage, but you also get that bright effect. So again, I'm gonna spread it out with my finger, do most of the blending with my finger, and then we're gonna come back, take the brush, and finish the blending. Perfect, okay. Oh, it's just so nice. It also gives a little bit of radiance underneath the eye, like a slight glow. Perfect, oh, so, so nice. I'm gonna take whatever's left over and I'm just gonna spread it on my eyelids. This is gonna act as our eye primer today. And I'm just gonna use my finger. I'm gonna pull it all the way up to the brow. It'll also work as a little bit of a natural brow highlight. Perfect. For brows, I'm going in with the Pure Brow Pencil, and this is the shade Ash Blonde. Jane Iredell has, maybe they have more, but I have two of their brow pencils. I have a like micro fine one, and then I have this one, which is more of a large kind of triangular head. I'm gonna use this one today. And I'm gonna first comb my brows in place. There we go. Now this product has a lot of pigment, so I have a pretty light pressure with my hand. What I love about this, it has a thicker base, like a triangle shape, so the bottom is a little thicker, so you can use that in the areas where your brows are thicker. But in the areas where you need a thinner, precise point, like right here on the tail of my brow, you can just use the tip of this because it is really nice and fine. Now you guys, I am pretty certain that my 20% discount code with Jane Iredell is still active. I believe it expires this month, like September. So I'm gonna, I'll confirm those details and I'll include it in the description box below, but they were generous enough to extend a 20% 
site-wide discount code, which is huge. And I've had it for the last month or so, but I'm, I do think that it is expiring in September. Okay, so we got the brows pretty much filled in. Last, we're gonna take this brow gel. This is the Pure Brow Brow Gel, and the shade that I have is Ash Blonde, also Ash Blonde. Question, what do you guys use for brow products? There are so many options, and I really feel like brows are such a personal product. Like, depending on what you're working with, you might find that a micro pencil is better, a pomade's better, just a tinted brow gel. What do you guys do? I always do a pencil, whether it's a micro pencil or something a little thicker like I use today, but I always use a brow gel. I need a brow gel. I feel like a brow gel just gives volume and more of a natural look to the brows rather than having like a flat one dimensional look to the brow. So you will never find me without my brow gel. Okay, and next we're gonna go in and let's kind of warm up the face. I'm gonna use the Jane Iredell bronzer and I have the lightest shade. I'm gonna use the exact same brush that I used for the foundation. And I'm just gonna use the tip of this brush. This brush is nice because it's large and fluffy and it's really round here at the center of the brush, but then it has this really nice little tapered tip. And I'm just going to use a tapered tip. That's going to give me a little more control. And I'm just going to sweep it across the face because it's a large brush. I'm not trying to get like a really sculpted contoured look here. I'm really just trying to warm up the face and give a kind of sun-kissed look. You know what, I'm even gonna take it across the nose. There's really no way you can mess this up if you have light pressure and you're just using the tip of this brush. This brush just applies everything very softly, so it's very forgiving, but if you want a real natural look, this is how you get it. Perfect, okay, lovely. So very natural, I could always go in and add more. If I wanted a little more definition, I could use a brush like this, which is gonna create that structure more because it's more dense, but I'm gonna keep it light today. I'm gonna go in and add some cheek color, and I have two blushes here. We're gonna go fancy and we're gonna do two blushes. I have to share my favorite blush stick. I know you guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about this, I get it, but I just can't. <laughs> this blush, Balmy Blush Stick, Oh. It's just, there are no words, that's that's what it is. It's so beautiful, the color of this is a really beautiful, like warm pink, just like, just a, like gives your cheeks this like balmy kind of like, what am I trying to say? I can't even explain it, it's just perfection. The formula of this is really nice, it's like the perfect amount of pigment. I actually like to use my brush to the product. You can go straight to the skin if you want. I find if you go straight to the skin, I think your fingers work better to blend it out. Because I will do that and then I'll blend out with a brush and I just feel like if I'm gonna dot it on my skin, I wanna just tap it with my fingers because the warmth of your fingers just really helps that, that product meld into the skin. So I'm just gonna use the brush because I'm gonna layer a little bit lighter and I'm gonna go in with the powder blush after this. So I'm gonna smile, I'm gonna use the apples of my cheek as a guide and then I'm just gonna kind of blend back and slightly up. I saw someone talking the other day on social media about like this new blush trend to put your blush up here. And I know that that's the thing. And I know as our we get older and our face changes shape, you know, I guess, should we change our blush? What do you think? I think you should wear your makeup however makes you feel good. And I've always loved a blush right on the apples of my cheek. Some people may say that that's wrong and I need to go a little higher. And I hear you, but I still like it on the apples of my cheek. Like, can we talk about how pretty this is? There's just no denying that this shade is just perfect. I love it. I love it so much. I'll even wear it on the lips sometime. Okay, we're gonna leave that there. And then I am gonna tap a little bit of this powder blush in the shade Barely Rose. This was also a product that I picked up when I first discovered this brand. And it's a beautiful, just rosy powder blush. It's a great everyday. I'm gonna use the same brush that we used for powder and for bronzer. And I'm just gonna slightly sweep this just all over the cheek. Even though it's matte, it gives a little bit of sheen to the skin, so pretty. Okay, all right, you guys, next let's go ahead and dive into eyes. I'm gonna keep the eyes kind of simple because really the star of this video should be the lipsticks and I really wanna get to them because we have 15 shades, you guys. I'm gonna put on my favorite four or three or four and then I'm gonna swatch the rest of them for you guys to see so this video is not two hours long. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in. I'm playing with this new palette. This is the palette Solar Flare. This was one that I picked up on the trip and oh, it's beautiful. Okay, we're gonna first go in with the lightest shade and we're gonna sweep this all over the eye. We're gonna sweep it on the lid and we're gonna sweep it underneath the brow. It's gonna give a little bit of a highlight, but it's also gonna kind of set the eyelid. This has a slight sheen to it, a little bit of highlight, not frosty at all though. Perfect, okay, lovely. 
Okay, next we're gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm using the same brush and we're gonna just kind of do a wash of this into the crease. This palette is pretty much all shimmers. There's really no mattes in here, but they're really beautiful, refined shimmers, meaning that you can wear them. If you have texture on the lid, they're gonna look beautiful. They're gonna highlight the eye, but they're not gonna accentuate texture. They're just gorgeous. I'm gonna add a little more here. This color is a really pretty warm, kind of ambery bronze shade. So nice. I'm gonna keep it light. I can always go back and add more, but what I wanna do is just kind of get a little structure and foundation in the crease. And then we're gonna go and add that lid color and then we'll go back and see if I need to define the eyes a little bit more. Okay, perfect. Next, we're going in with this it's stunning, beautiful shade right here. It almost reminds me of one of my old time, like favorite shadows from MAC called Satin Taupe, but it's even more beautiful. And I'm taking a flat shader brush. This is the BK Beauty 203. And I'm just going to pack this right onto the lid. This color is so gorgeous. When I did this look in the Berkshires, I got so many compliments and it was from other like makeup artists and makeup creators. So that's always nice. And then I've worn this look once or twice since I've been home and I always get compliments. And I don't know if it's because it's a little different than my normal look that people like notice that I look a little different. I don't know, but hey, I will take it. It's just a beautiful, and I like it because it's like, it's not a deep or dark eye, but it's like, um, it's a little darker than I normally wear on my lid. It's just so, so pretty. It's a really beautiful kind of slate taupey shade. And I'm gonna keep it soft today. That's all I'm gonna do in terms of shadow. I'm gonna line the eyes with one of my favorite products from the brand. This is their Mystical Eyeliner, and this is the shade Dark Topaz. This is the gel eyeliner. But what I love about this product is it has a little brush right on the lid. So here's the lid, pull out this little brush. Normally I discard any applicators that come with product because most of them are just, you know, they're very cheaply made. They're not really great tools to apply your makeup. This is the exception. This brush is actually perfect for this product. I'm gonna go in and just pick up and layer both sides of the brush with this gel liner. It's, it's really a brown, a dark brown, but there's little flecks of like really refined shimmer. So it, it's almost like a really deep bronze shade. And I'm just gonna lay the brush on its side and run it across my lash line. This brush is very easy to use. You can see that I'm, I'm not even having to secure my lid with my other hand. I can really do this with one hand. It's it's just perfect. You know how I always talk about our BK Beauty 208 brush being the perfect for liner? You can hard, like hardly mess it up. It's just so easy. This is the same. This is a very easy brush to use. And I'm going to slightly extend a little bit of a wing, very subtle, go and do the other eye. I am even gonna thicken the liner on the outer half. I just decided to do that. We're gonna go make the outer half liner a little bit thicker. I'm gonna keep the liner on my lower lash line very clean and soft. So I want a little heavier eyeliner on top. Perfect. Oh, this is so gorgeous. So nice. Look at that. So easy. Okay, you guys, next we're going to go in and load up the lashes. I'm using the Beyond Lash Mascara. Really beautiful volumizing mascara. Let me curl these lashes first. Let's go in and layer the mascara. I'm going to put it at the base and just kind of wiggle it back and forth. Be patient with this. This is how you get the best mascara effect. Just rest your eye base right on the mascara wand and just kind of wiggle it back and forth. What you're really doing is you're getting all the product off the brush and onto your lashes. And then you can softly sweep and pull it up. That's how you get really full, thick lashes. Okay, so I did a good few coats. I'm gonna go into the other side and then I'm gonna come back and add an extra layer. If you really like dramatic mascara, apply a few coats, then kind of let it set a little bit and then go back when it's about 60, 70% dry and add your last coat. This mascara just gives really full kind of fanned out lashes and it doesn't really matter how much you layer, like it doesn't clump. It's so, so nice. It just gives that really fanned out look, which I think is beautiful and looks great on every eye. And I'm gonna do a light coat on the lower lashes. Perfect. Okay, so now that we have pretty much all of our makeup done except lips, super excited to dive into the new lipsticks. These are the Color Lux Hydrating Cream Lipsticks. I've got 15 shades here, you guys. They come in this really beautiful, soft kind of champagne gold slim 
packaging. So nice. They come in a wide range of shades. You've got really pretty nudes, light pinks, light pinks, bold reds, deep kind of like burgundy shades. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start and I'm not going to apply any lip liner just so you can see the full color of the lipstick. Let's start with my favorite and then we'll go into swatching all of the shades. Okay, before we get started, let's recap the benefits of this lipstick. So it's very rich in color, highly pigmented, very hydrating. It's got cocoa butter in it. It's got sunflower seed oil in it. It has lots of ingredients that really nourish the lips. And it's a very smooth and creamy formula. It's very rich in color, but it feels very weightless on the lips. Okay, so let's go in first. We're going to go in with the shade Tutu. Tutu is a really beautiful kind of rosy neutral pink. Let me actually blot what's on my lips. Now I just have a little bit of a tinted lip balm on my lips. Okay, so we're gonna go and apply Tutu. I love the slant of the lipstick bullet. It makes it really easy to apply, especially if you decide to skip a lip liner, which I'm doing today. Okay, so a quick little swatch on my lower lip. This is a really beautiful kind of soft, cool tone pink. So this is Tutu. Feels so good on the lips. You really can build this if you want full color. You're not necessarily gonna get sheer color from this lip color because it definitely has pigment, but if you just do one or two swatches, it'll be a lot lighter and less pigmented, but you can really build it to get full opacity. So this is the shade Tutu. This is the shade Bellini. This is one of my favorites. This is one that I took home with me when I was there. A lot of the others were sent to me, but I did get my hands on a few of them when I was on that trip, and this is one of them. Really beautiful, soft peach. This is the shade Blush. This is the shade Magnolia. This is the shade Toffee. This is the shade Mulberry. This is the shade Sorbet. This is the shade Peony. This is the shade Candy Apple. This is the shade Passion Fruit. This is the shade Poppy. This is the shade Scarlet. This is the shade Rosebud. This is the shade Bordeaux. This is the shade Espresso. So that wraps it up, all 15 shades of the new Color Lux lipsticks from Jane Iredell. I finished up with the shade Bellini on my lips and I did line my lips with the Jane Iredell lip liner in the shade Nutmeg. So that is what I finished off with. I'll have all the products that I used listed and linked in the description box and I will have my 20% promo code. I'm pretty certain it's still active down in the description box below. I'll also include it here on the screen. Thank you so much for watching this video and I truly mean that. You know, I'm so fortunate and I feel so blessed to be able to do this for my job. I mean, it's just unbelievable to me some days. And especially when I get to partner with brands like Jane Iredell and share them with you all. And none of this would be possible if I didn't have the support of all you watching my videos and just being here. So thank you. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.